Hello. This is, again, your friends at Unbroken Studios. I am Robert Peeler, your community manager. And here I am with our mystery guest from last week. Joshua Oliver. Uh, I'm the level designer here at Fractured Lands, uh, also known as Unreal Dev. That's right. You guys that were That's curious. right. <laughs> we <laughs> caught him on camera, finally. <laughs> Uh, I think you had some interviews during like E3 or something. Yeah, like I did a one with Indicade, uh, yeah. kind of just talking about my place in the team and what we were doing and stuff like that. So I think uh, a couple of the guys, or well, one specifically, Rebel Strike, just right away was just like, oh, it's not real death. I know it is. Yeah, he probably saw the video or something like He's that. He's like, I'm what assuming. did I win? I'm like, it's not a contest. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, no. So there he is, Unreal Dev, the real Unreal Dev. What are your other aliases, uh, infamous as just they are? those, Unreal Dev, and right now I'm currently the real Unreal Dev because... People in the office were kind of trolling my name and taking it up, and people were thinking they were killing me, so I had to separate well, that from. There was a bit of a, a, a question at work whether or not, like, when we play the game, whether or not we should be going, you know, all the way out and killing everybody we can and just doing the best we can, <laughs> considering you made the map and know it pretty well. Yeah. Seems like you have somewhat of an advantage. I but, do, yeah. Um, um, yeah, having having to know like pretty much every square inch of the map. Like at this point, I've been working on it for so long that. People can show me a cluster of trees, and I'm like, okay, yeah, let me go yeah. there and fix whatever that is, and stuff like that. Exactly. So I was sure. showing him a pit the other day, and he's like, I know that pit. No, <laughs> that yeah. pit and I are familiar. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Well, cool. Thank you for coming on, and I appreciate it. Um, I know Eddie was sick of being here, so glad we can get some diversity in here, some sure. different voices. For sure. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the recent changes to uh, POIs or points of interest that you have been working on specifically. Right. Um, Tell us about it. We're gonna we're gonna watch a video of it in just a second, but set it up for us. So the one we kind of talk about mostly today is um, kind of this like downtown looking area. Um, I think official name for it on our map on Twitter is uh, Last Bastion. Okay. Uh, but in the house we call it just downtown. It's supposed to be just a city. Um, so it made some recent updates. Uh, I was getting a lot of feedback from the community and then from a lot of people here in the studio that. Uh, it looked really cool, but it was foreboding because I had walled off pretty much all of the city and all the good stuff that was in there. It's a massive, like, round, very large area that you have to kind of traverse around if you're not going to go through yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, there's, and, and, you know, I put little punch holes, like, in certain parts of the fence, but right. they're so obscure, and they're in, like, only, I guess, really a map builder would know where they were at. So I was getting a lot of feedback from people saying, hey, I know that there's a lot of loot there but I can't seem to get in. And my thought process when we first made it was, um, you know, it was intentional that either you leave your car on the outside and risk someone stealing yeah. your vehicle to get a bunch of good loot, or you try to find a punch hole, which takes some time. So it's just a time matter. And then when we integrate, uh, you know, brought in this moving storm idea, that's when it kind of stopped working. And it was like, well, people don't want to go in there because it takes five minutes to get in it. Yeah, you get stuck. Right, right. right Especially right. since there's tall buildings too, you can get yeah. on the top floor and then you have to escape. And I think walls. a lot of people don't realize that um, the that area too has almost, if not more, loot than our center, like storm holes, like the refinery area. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, it actually has more loot and more opportunities for vertical gameplay and stuff like that. <laughs> so after getting all this feedback, um, I decided, as you'll see in the video, to go through and punch out holes in the walls and make it look like someone had ran through it and demolished pieces of the fence. Um, and then also removing some of the bigger buildings and putting more of the smaller one in places. Well, let's start watching the video oh, sure, and you can, you can point out some of these things that you're talking about. Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, you'll see right here, there's a, there's a hole in the wall there. And then uh, what I went through, done now, is went and put a freeway section through it. So yeah. now. If you want to just quickly traverse through this area from, you know, one of the POIs from another direction, like it'll take you right through this uh, POI without even having to stop if you don't want. You can just go right through it. It looks like there's even a section where the freeway goes over where the wall might have been. It does, yeah. It goes over a lot of the pieces of the of, of the uh, existing or the, the previous wall. Um, and I believe on the eastern side, I completely just knocked the wall down mm. for the freeway section that comes from uh, like our little oil field section right before that. It's a cool idea. I've been playing with it since the update came out. It's like trying to get on the top of these high freeways mm. now that extend from hills and go far distances and mm. seeing like, where does this go? How far can I take it? And then what advantages does this give me? Like, does it give me a good, you know, firing point? Can I snipe from here? Mm -hmm. Can I escape, make a quick getaway if someone's chasing me? Yeah, it has a lot of um, uses. You know, you, there's, there's, there's the verticality of being able to shoot down from people up on mm -hmm. it. And also, if you get into a firefight on the freeway, you'll see there's piles of cars for like decent amount of cover in case you do get there. But Or if you just want to use it straight as a freeway and you just want to go from one point to the other instead of, you know, duning or, or 
being on the main streets where a lot of other yeah. players will be at, you know, if you find this freeway, it's maybe a quick option for you to go from one point A to point B. We had a lot of those, I think, when the game was first being developed, a lot of freeway sections right. that we kind of uh, scaled down on for in, in place of things that had more loot or, mm -hmm. or maybe kind of uh, rougher terrain. But I'm starting to see you adding it back in different ways. Yeah, I'm trying to. It was me sense. kind of like sneaking it back in because it did kind of get like erased out of our, at least for now, mm -hmm. um, just because it's a big task doing a freeway uh, section on an 8K by 8K map. It's just a lot, um, and there's only one of me right now. Uh, so in just order, one? Just one. Um, so, I mean, you know, myself and the environment team, uh, sure. you know, we, we build the full level, but as far as like straight layout and flow and how these how the map uh, looks, uh, it's just limited time. So that was me like kind of sneaking it back in. I mean, like okay. this is gonna be the epicenter for the freeway section. So kind of that downtown section will be where kind of all the freeways meet. Um, so you'll see like, that very Los Angeles, you know, freeway yeah, yeah, over yeah. freeway over freeway kind of like vertical gameplay. So, um, but yeah, and that's kind of, say again? Certainly inspired by that area. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I took a lot of shots, you know, obviously us being up here, I took a lot of uh, uh, a lot of shots on my phone, passing by, you know, certain freeway areas mm -hmm. and stuff like that to try to give it that little downtown-y, like, Hollywood downtown vibe, nice. you know, within reason because sure. we have the gameplay to consider as well. You know, there are certain uh, parts of the map that have um, on-ramps and stuff like that, right. too. Um, but it's it's limited, so yeah. it'd be cool to also see a lot more like turnarounds, maybe like one of those places that has like a figure eight. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Uh, right on-ramp mm -hmm. section, that would be kind of Yeah, so we wanna, we're, we're definitely, we have plans to squeeze stuff like that back in, um, you know, as soon as we address the major issues like, uh, you know, performance and stuff like that. Yeah. That we have been working so diligently. That last integration, that's step one. Yeah, that was a big one. So, you know, as Robert had mentioned before, it's not quite the sexiest patch that we had, but it was a lot of background yeah. stuff that was setting us up for moving forward and really, really uh, nailing uh, the performance and how we game. Well, I appreciate that you're able to do this POI in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. To give a little more change and a little more personality to the world. Pull, uh, pull, some, pull some extra time to get it done. But yeah, those types of updates are really important for me. Um, even though I've been on the tech side of the house worrying about performance and stuff, mm -hmm. um, I don't get to do the, the map design stuff. So that stuff is very important and I do, uh, you know, we'll still continually be updating the map. Uh, you know, things are kind of shifting around. Do you have other POIs in mind? Yeah, uh, specifically, um, there's like a military base looking its way off of the map. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't get to see it because of our uh, storm idea, mm -hmm. but the people that do, a lot of people are kind of confused, but it's, Kind of a military base resemblance. It's got a board wall again. That one's already punched out and stuff like that. Um, but that one's going to get a full kind of like base lift. I'm not 100% really? happy with with the area and some feedback and okay. the area's flow just doesn't really work for me right now. Um, but then also uh, there's like a car dealership feature point and uh, I've never seen that. I've only run into that playing maybe two or three times, so it is rare to run into it. Though. It is, yeah. Um, and I'd like to give that area some more love to give it more um, of a, a squad's feel, if you will. Oh, okay. like, um, you know, I really want to start beefing up these parts of the map and get it ready for when we do decide to, you know, go live with any other kind of modes that support playing with your friends. Coming soon Coming to soon. Fractured Lands. Yeah. So yeah, um, you know, each one of our POIs that we have right now will get another pass from mm. the on more of a love design standpoint instead of like, let's quickly get some stuff out so people can play yeah, these areas, course. which is kind of how it's been up until now. Um, so yeah, continuously updating the map and performance, of course. Your grand think. design is, is getting in. It's starting to shape, yeah, 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 with the help from the art team and you know everybody else uh, here. So yeah, for sure. Um, so do you have any like uh, things you've been looking forward to doing um, specifically, like any? Any brand ideas like you want to? Uh, I know we have a crater, we have a junkyard. Is there anything you want to like, tackle in, uh, in a new not, and interesting ways? Not that I necessarily want to publicize yet because okay, I, I okay. love to put That's in these fair. nice, beautiful uh, POIs that will actually replace some of the just like, oh, there's just some warehouses and some residential sure. buildings here and actually get like full on, like, oh, here's the thing, okay. you know? So that type of stuff. Uh, Surprises. Yeah. On the way. <laughs> Until we get um, just a more of a solid plan on when we're going to implement that type of stuff. Okay. But it's, uh, I mean, aside from that, um, obvious updates and performance as far as, uh, even one that's been driving me absolutely crazy since uh, kind of I've been brought on board is I built an area out. Mm. I'm on a hill, mm. right? I know that there's 10 buildings down there for looting, but I can't see that. It's the issue we've had in the level screen. Okay. With these, uh, with, you know, oh, with, sure. we have all of our levels set up. So what we're working on now, which is really exciting for me um, and for the engineering team, is 
uh, we are setting up this new HLOT system. Mm. Um, Epic Games uh, 4.20 released a, a, a version of it that's not uh, no longer it's you know production ready. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to be adding a couple other more you know performance based things. But then also our main goal is to do away with level streaming altogether and have the entire world be persistently loading at the same time at its lowest like H level. Uh, it's not going too fast for you. Yeah. Sorry if it's a little too technical. <laughs> Basically, yeah, in its basic fine. terms, is we are doing away with level streaming, right. which means that performance and networking will get much, much better because you're no longer streaming anything in and out. So it's a lot of replacements you're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that's why, like you said, getting you know this patch out and getting it, it kind of get a set up for us implementing all that stuff and getting it rid of the level streaming. Which, yeah, cool. Like I said, makes it Lots of new stuff coming. Yeah, for sure. Changes the PYs. I love the changes to downtown. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm looking forward to even more. And hey, thanks for having. All right. Thanks for being on board. Of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy.